Hello, welcome to Nezzo's Bad Shop. I am your host, Nezzo, as always, usually, probably, and most likely. And yes, uh, you're looking at a car on a box, a bunch of letters, and all these cars and all these letters, but these particular letters are kind of important letters, and I'm going to tell you why. Because this is the MST MRX GT New Era Design Chassis, released uh, only... Oh, it feels like a month ago maybe forgot to double check the date but it's been it's been only about a month or so and this is a new design uh, for 2022 even though it does incorporate several features from uh, the Armex 2.0 2.5 3.0 and all that kind of stuff uh, that lineage that uh, era of chassis but there are a number of changes on this one uh, that do bring it into kind of new generation new era territory so I'm going to go through them with you because I'm kind of excited about this car because one of the biggest features is the quick change differential and it allows you to change, uh, well not only quick change differential actually, it's quick change differential but also quick change uh, final drive ratio in the rear gearbox which is uh, very interesting and that is very similar as it says here to the concept uh, that is used in real FD slash D1 drift machines. So they've taken that concept from a real car and incorporated it into our sea drift car, uh, which is very fascinating and very cool. And uh, one neat thing that they talked about is uh, which mode you can have the rear end in, the, uh, the drivetrain or the, uh, what was it, the motor position or was it the gearbox? I, uh, it's one of these things, but anyways, it's called the aggressive mode and you can have aggressive mode one or aggressive mode two and I can't wait to test out all the aggressiveness <laughs> and I can't remember exactly whether aggressive meant more squat or less squat or more bounce or less bounce but anyways we're gonna go through that at some point but the MR MRX GT it's a mid motor car mid high motor but yeah incorporates into a quick change style gearbox so the power goes out the, out the motor to the back goes uh, down the back to another shaft to the diff and out the uh, out to the drive shafts um, yeah, so it's a pretty interesting concept uh, and uh, a new era in that sense. Um, so what I can show you on the box at least, we look over here, oh, look, you can see my ring light, Wee. Well, I'm not going to blind you with that. Here you can see the photo, see they got a nice photo here of that quick change gearbox and the best part is that's all aluminum. Mwah. And MST, they don't mess around when it comes to their aluminum, they use the high quality, super sweaty aircraft T5056 or whatever the frig it is, like that super sweaty, strong, mm, that beautiful, good aluminum. Yes, so um, that's that. I can't, um, and that's where you can see some of the extra gears there where you can change the final drive ratio uh, of the gearbox. So that's like sort of where the main sort of geary box area is. There's the quick change diff part where you pull out a couple more pieces and the whole diff comes out. Um, and it looks like an oil filled diff. It doesn't look like a ball differential. It looks like an oil filled diff. So I'm going to figure out because other, other previous MST cars like the one over here, the 2.5 RX, this one. 2.5 RS, sorry, that has a ball differential in it. So I'm wondering if that's a gear or if that's a ball, a ball style. So we're going to find out. Um, but yeah, that is a real uh, drift car style final drive ratio changes, uh, depending on what track they're going to and all that. MST's uh, default steering settings have been really good as of late, especially on the RMX lineage. And um, you can see the different Ackerman sets here based on the quick differ uh, the different changes you can make really quickly to the steering system and you can just increase just by that without actually having to do a lot of tuning. So that's been a thing for a time in that photo. You do get beautiful MST uh, dampers. This says it's TDA drift damper, which is I think very similar to the TR60s, the latest, or TR56. However, I think this is the one, if it if it is that top hat, it's the one with the adjustable 3 mil top hat. And if so, sweaty! That would be really nice. So I'm going to find that out. There's a top view of the motor. Uh, you can see there, on the top of the gearbox. And it is equipped with the, what they call MB rear suspension. Basically, it's rear active tow. So most MSD chassis that have released in the last year or two uh, have gotten the rear active tow system, which is beneficial both for extra slip setting and extra grip, uh, depending on how you set it. But mostly MSTs come with the setting where the car, the rear end tows in on suspension travel. So that means more slip into the corner and not as much grip on the exit. 
for the most part, like on a sli on a low traction surface uh, at our local track, the Strictly Sideways Club. And the other thing that caught my eye was the way the chassis looks. It's a lot slimmer than a lot of the other chassis that have come from MST lately, especially even some most of the RMX ones. Uh, but it is got lots of cutaways, lots of uh, uh, slats on the side and stuff. But it is uh, slim, and I can see lots of potential uh, suspension travel and droop settings. So that's very nice. Now, having said all that. I'm just going to run you through some of the things on the box here. I'm just going to hold on. I'm going to box back up straight. Things here that this says. Aluminum MRX quick change differential systematic gearbox. That's that whole quick change thingy Bobby I was talking about. TDA aluminum length adjustable shock absorbers. Bam. That's it. So those are the three mil adjustable boys. That's really, really nice. Those are the, that's these shocks right here. So that top hat spins out three mil and yeah, that's nice. That's on that 2.5 RS same dampers beautiful aluminum motor mount that's very nice it's very common nowadays due to uh, for heat dissipation so uh, that's nice uh, aluminum upper deck adapter reinforced seat that's probably those uh, the little uh, poles in between there what else aluminum front and upper deck connector more more aluminum bits yummy front aluminum suspension arm mount that's the the pieces that the arms mount to on the pins mm, lovely adjustable suspension arm mount yes so you can adjust the rear uh, arm setting before even the active rear tail Mwah, beautiful aluminum wheel hubs Mwah, beautiful <laughs> what else lightweight carbon chassis especially adjusted gravity at the front and the rear of the chassis so that's yeah that's that new plate i was talking about optimized brand new for this car mm. so carbon chassis plate as you saw lightweight carbon front brace uh, and i think that's I can't remember what that front brace is. That might be somewhere up at the top here, or it might be the front bumper brace. It doesn't say, but I think that's what it is. Lightweight carbon front upper vertical, uh, carbon front vertical upper deck. That's these pieces right there. Beautiful. Carbon rear upper deck. That piece of along the motor there. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> what else? Front carbon damper stay. That's the front shock tower carbon. Rear shock tower carbon. It says it right there too. Lightweight quick release battery holder nice that's uh that's somewhat new i think i that's not been on the other cars i don't think so that's kind of a new thing and the mb rear suspension set there rear active toe so there is a lot of carbon and a lot of aluminum on this car and i'm very happy so with all of that uh fun stuff did i bring my unbox knife over no i didn't okay so we're gonna do this uh the interesting way we grab a pair of scissors and open the seal. Look at that seal. Oof, yes. Sweaty MST tape. Are we ready for this? Okay, three, two, one. Uh, and as my friend Trevor says, don't cut towards your body, cut towards your buddy. <laughs> no, actually, don't do that. But <laughs> that's, the, that's the funny Trev D way. Anyways. Hello, hello, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yes. I tell you, MST, uh, the presentation is always so nice of uh, what you see in the box. Like, I'm always, I'm always happy to unbox an MST kit because everything is so nicely laid out. And I can see quite a lot in here. So, what should we grab first? It looks like I'm going to have to cut open a bag or two because, yeah. Two big bags of parts, but okay, let's start with this one. And, uh, yes, oh yeah, I can do it with one hand. Bravo. And my setup board says one word, whatever. This setup board tunes everything. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, we have parts bag seven, and look at all that carbon. Mm, carbon shock towers, and so the bits and bytes for that. The, uh, see, look, see, what was wrong with putting screws and the spall studs and like the washers and everything you need per step in one bag like this is all like one step right here pretty much and all the screws are there i don't have to go fishing around and go find them in another bag what was wrong with that see mst still does the original this and i'm very happy about that so that will make the build process nice we continue on parts bag one this is the first part bag. Yeah, there's the rear active uh, tow system, the rear uh, suspension arms, the MB. And that's already sort of, there's two, that's a two piece and they're already together, so that's nice. Oh, the aluminum 
uh, suspension mounts, that's for the front there, and those ones with the plus and the minus on them, that's for the rear, so that's good. We can increase up to uh, three additional, or it says, it says plus 1.5 to plus uh, 3.0, so basically we can increase the rear toe three degrees, so I think, believe that's how that's interpreting. So that's that. And yeah, screws and bushings and washers and everything all you need. Parts bag three. Oh, whoops. Oh look, there's that uh, servo saver that I did get to first try out on the on the 2.5 RMX RS. I keep screwing the name up. It's the RMX 2.5 RS, the car up here. And that servo saver seems to work pretty good so far. So I'm gonna run it on this car, and we're gonna see what's what because they seem they redesigned it from their previous one. Um, so that's good. And uh, we got some bearings in here. This looks like probably for the front steering bell crank assembly. Yeah, I can see some bits back there. Uh, and yeah, everything all in one, ready to go. Very nice. And MST QC pass. You'll see QC pass on pretty much every bag. You should anyway. We should anyway. If we don't, we're gonna have a problem. Parts bag five. Oh, look at that rear gearbox. Oh my god, yes, that's so nice. Like um, previous MST VIP level cars, I consider this a VIP level car, this MRX GT. Even though it doesn't say VIP, I'm considering it VIP level because it has all the right VIP ingredients of the previous MSTs and even some more ingredients like this aluminum rear gearbox. You didn't get aluminum rear gearboxes as standard in the old uh, FXX VIP chassis kit, for example. That was plastic and you had to upgrade that. That's a really nice touch. Like I did mention it comes with it, but just seeing it, mm. bearings are really nice. I can see the gears in there. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Look at the machine work right there. Mm, the lips. Lips, the lippage. Oh, the polished. Mm, that looks good. That's going to look really good in the rear end. There's the motor mount. Oh, I'm impressed. I can't wait to build this car. The digest should be good too. I can't. I, ho I hope everything's good in the manual. We're going to see that soon. Fuck, I'm excited about this one, boys and girls and everybody. This is this is great. QC Pass bag two, front bulkhead assembly, screws, etc. Ooh, there's that carbon front brace thing they were talking about. Nice. So that's not the front bumper, but that's a front brace bit that I guess goes somewhere around the top of that. This is like RMX. Uh, this is from the RMX lineage era, but it's okay. It works really good, and um, they've optimized it ever so subtly. Just subtle refinements over time. So. That's good. Bag number six. And there's a part of the drive shaft. I think it was, that's probably going down to the rear diff. Part of the rear gearbox. Something, something. It looks like part of the rear. Um, and carbon upper deck braces. Yeah. Mm, looks really good. Like I said, MST, they don't mess around when it comes to quality and fitment and finish. They really take uh their kit seriously and i know this because i've bought several of them and i've built several of them and yes the quality has always been high in terms of the the kits and stuff like that so yeah uh let's continue look at all the friggin wonderful stuff in there let's go Whee! okay so here we got bag 10 and that's a bunch of yeah a couple of screws and parts and what's oh the battery holder this is the this is the quick release battery system battery mount uh, holder yes very nice cool and maybe some stickers there to protect something it looks like let's put that there uh parts bag 11 front bumper assembly body posts and the mst little body cap thingies those come in handy every now and then extension posts whatever you want to call them it's good Bravo. Oh, this is the tool bag. And yes, the legendary MST Black Grease that works so good. And I use quite a lot of this in the Rhino Racing CLSDs because it's it's good grease. It's very good. I ran out of my Tamiya Antiwear, so MST Black Grease is just very good. It's as good as, I would say. Um, and uh, yes, some tools here that uh, I can use if I'd like. But I got my own tools, which aren't out and about because I'm going to track soon. And yes, uh, tools. Now... What's this? Oh, parts bag nine. Oh yes, this is what we could see from the uh, from the big bag. I mean, and here they've given us soft springs. I think two two piece soft uh, spring sets, and I think those are soft blue. We got pink, pink, and blue, blue. So I'm just gotta interpret that there somewhere. But those are probably the soft ones. 
I think those are the same ones I got on the other car kit. Mineral oil for the shock oil, and it's number 10, which I think that translates to 100 weight, technically. I think, because because if it's straight 10, that's too, that's that's really soft. I just can't remember what what went in the other car, uh, off to the side. I don't think it was 10. I mean, I don't think, it, it might have been this, I'll have to double check it, but it's on my video. Anyway, if you want to, if any of you are watching this and want to go quickly check, uh, yeah, just verify that. But I remember it's, it's as light, anyway, but that's good light shock oil. And look at those shocks, that's really nice. So what you're seeing here in this package with all these shafts and stuff, and oh, look, hey, this is different, hey, hey, hey. This is different to the RS. Three hole piston, what are those? Six hole pistons, interesting. So I'm very curious now, is it three hole in the front, six hole in the rear, because of all the weight, or vice versa? Oh, this is great, so you get Three hole and six hole, but there's only two of each, it looks like. Hold on. That's really interesting. Because, okay, there's more pistons down there. And those are three hole. Yeah. Three hole, three hole. It almost looks like uh, there's indentations. Like, I almost wonder if I can just drill them out myself or whatever. But, okay, we've got... Three holes and six holes, so this is getting serious. <laughs> this is serious! Because mm, I didn't have six hole option or even it was not in the other kit in this one. Those are the shocks right there. They're very nice. I like them a lot, but they, yeah, that's mm, six hole piston. Six hole piston as standard for two at them at least. Mm, mm, and now I know why there's an aggressive mode. Oh my god, that's so good. I didn't know about that, so okay. <laughs> What's next? Are you, you guys, you still sitting down or what? Y'all need to take a break and drink? I need to, hold on, just... Oh. Excellent. Well, that, that was, that's somewhat shocking, like, ah, uh, can't wait. Okay, anyways, we'll dive through the manual, but where are we here? This is, uh, oh, these are, this is, yes, drive axles, the knuckles, the, the, wheel hubs that are the brake disc but they also gave us the aluminums which are right there so if you want scale do the plastic but i'm going with the aluminums i'm going with performance for this boy uh yeah and the drive shafts will build ourselves the bearings and everything so that's a very nice and mst also has very nice bearings too so there's high quality stuff here and here we go this is parts bag four uh number 1000 weight oil this is the uh, what is this? Oh, this is a diff. This is the diff. That that gear there is also used in the ball differential set, the uh, ring gear for the diff. But this is a gear differential. There's the gears right there. So this is an oil gear diff, but we got 1,000 weight oil, which I, I'm wondering if that is actually... We're going with that as a thousand, like that's interpreted as a thousand, or if this is interpreted as ten thousand, like the ten is interpreted as a hundred. Um, if so, I'll, I'll once I build the diff, I'll know because I'll move the you know move it around and stuff. But if that's equivalent to ten thousand weight that you get in a, a classic a classic Yokomo, uh, then um, that will be the same sort of effect and plastic gear stuff. So that will be very similar to the diffs in these cars. But if it's only a thousand that will mean it's lighter action so that'll be interesting but yes we get metal out drives and stuff so that's good and all the pieces are there QC pass lovely all right so that's good so it is a gear diff I was right I guessed right uh, without knowing so here's the chassis oh look at that mmm that looks cool MRX baby and like this this also kind of looks like this is this is definitely flexy mode like we're gonna get some flex here we're gonna mm, i'm gonna have to come up with another cool rhyming name for this one even though this car is called the mrx i'm gonna have to maybe define the mrx you know all those letters are gonna come with names now cool names or something because i got for the yoko i got flexi lexi and bendy wendy and the, the third one i haven't named which is up there <laughs> but anyways let's keep focused on this because this car is just 
This is serious. Next level, or I'll oh, say next level. Correction. Next era. Next generation. All right. And if we dive into this, this is another bag, and it's got, you know, looks like something very nice over there. But how hard is this to open? Not very hard at all. Okay, let me. Where are you going? Oh, let me dump you in here. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so, antenna for your classic receiver, we don't need that. <laughs> and let's see, ooh look, an MRX gear ratio. And this is also giving me some anxiety because I have a feeling this might, if they're giving me this, this might mean I have to provide my own opinion. We're gonna dive into the manual because I forgot to read on the side of the box. But uh, if it declined, and um, just hold on. Look at this. My goodness. What a sticker sheet. I mean, you know, the other, the, someone else recently, they got their sticker sheets in order. But look at this. Just have a look at this sticker sheet. And aside from the letters of the car itself, MRX, GT, and all that, look at all this supplementary stuff. KMW, MST Station, TDA, Damper. Like, I can outfit a body with those things, like these stickers on the side or on the windows or whatever. I think that will look so good. My God, look, CSR tire. We used to run those quite a lot. KMW, KMW, KMW. This is almost damn near KMW level, but like they do a KMW MRX. I'm there, I'm there. The moment you light this, this puppy up with like every single thingy, I'm there. Let's go, put a number on it even better. Mmm, mmm. All right, sticker sheet aside, that is sweaty. But can we just have a second here to appreciate the level of detail on the front of this manual? This is the manual. Look at that. I'm fucking, I'm, oh my God, I'm, I'm so impressed. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Man, all right, what's it look like inside though? Oh, quality. There's an exploded view. Hmm, we're not gonna sit here and dumpster dive through this. That's for the constructor digest once I build the car. But just took and looking through quickly, a lot of this part reminds me of the 2.5 RS I just built. Actually, most of it, yeah, most of the front end anyway. Like I said, it's from similar, uh, it's from the similar line of cars, but has been refined over time. And then it goes on to the chassis. Oh my god, yes. And some option parts you can get. Oh. And yeah, there's the diff and stuff, and we just want to get to the motor. Look at that assembly, mm. and the manual is so good. These things are life size, so you can make sure you get the right parts. Oh, so good! And look, there it is ah, 22 tooth motor gear not included, and the set screw not included. But that's just a small little thing amongst all the gloriousness that is across. All, like all the stuff we just looked at so okay like all right all right all right i'm okay with it <laughs> i'm okay with not getting opinion gear i'll find my own they've given me the chart good all right that's we've got a lot of sweaty in the box i'm happy with it and a beautiful sticker sheet so okay fine i'll provide my own opinion <laughs> been having to do that a lot lately anyways so that's one thing i just really wanted to check but um yeah, uh, the manual looks great, like always, or I should say like the latest MST kits that I've built, always, lately. Dampers, this and that, yeah, and it is the adjustable, yeah, lucky, we knew that, but yeah, oh, very good. And actually what I'm not seeing is an addendum sheet, so they, they seem to have got everything correct. Of course, I'll look for all the funny, uh, what you call it? Uh, grammatical errors and stuff like that. Yes, that's always fun. But it, um, yeah, no addendum, so I think they've they nailed this one. Or any addendums were corrected from the first release, which I think I'm on. I don't think I'm on the first release of this, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, everything is going. Uh, everything looks good. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I was wondering. MRX aggressive mode. <laughs> so, mode one, mode two. Mode one, what do we see here? Mode one, we're gonna, I'm just quickly looking at both. Mode one, motor in the same place, battery in the same place. 
it's oh it's the ESC placement right so aggressive mode one is ESC hanging off the butt end of the car like really rear ESC like big time rear uh, mode two is it angled upward like most rear ESC mounts we've seen so I'm gonna find more of a definition on the aggressive mode uh, but yeah that's pretty cool that we have double option of mounting uh, the rear ESC for different aggressiveness and attack in the rear so that's good different ways of, of applying the front arm settings yeah this is what I love too when I'm see they give you tuning options they give you ways to put screws in to excuse me to get different effects really quickly and then kind of give you some uh, literature on how it affects the car and that kind of stuff look here's understanding caster like just yeah some manufacturers just don't do this or don't think to do this or you know oh and look at that MST official recommended vehicle upgrade guide of the MRX GT like that's really good look at that like we could photocopy that and stick it on the wall at the shop or something like this is good. We will be getting these into the Strictly Sideways Club. Uh, I pulled this one across the seas from the old Mart of the RC. Um, I actually got here in like two and a half days. I'm really impressed. It cost a little penny, but it was worth it. It's here. And oh, look, original setup sheet. This is the this is the default setup sheet. And they even give you this. Like they've oh, they filled this manual with such goodness. Surface, plastic tiles, track, MST station. It's amazing really impressed super happy can't wait to start building this but I'm, I'm actually almost running out of time before i go to bed because i like to film things super late i'm kind of silly like that <laughs> but this is this has been impressive i'm really happy uh mrx gt everybody let me know what you think because this one's definitely going to be a bit of a game changer i wouldn't say it's going to change the entire game but this is going to have some impact um i know i've read a little bit about some people have been driving theirs they've got their hands on some but i haven't read a whole heck of a lot i know a couple of my buddies are interested on the aggressive mode and we're gonna play with that but i'm really excited to try another new generation rear wheel drive rc drift car and lots of interesting things changes from previous gen and this car should work really good on the low traction surface just by all the things we've seen and what we're seeing here and this manual can you just give it up for this manual like they did a really cool job on that like that looks so cool don't you want one just from the manual you can mount that on the wall look at that oh heck yes all right thank you for watching everybody like comment subscribe you have been watching the MST MRX GT unboxing and what an what an unboxing. I tell you, I tell you what, holy. I can't wait to build this. You stay tuned for uh running footage, comparisons, like all of that. I'm everybody gonna wanna drive this tomorrow if I get it built, and I really wanna start like right now. <laughs> so yes, thank you for watching, and I've been your host Nezo, or like usually always probably maybe and so forth and so on, and um Yes, glad to have you all along for the journey. I'm going to keep pushing into the new year with lots of content and stuff. Give me suggestions, you know, things you might want to see. I'm going to do more how-tos and all that stuff too. So, um, yes, uh, hope to uh, read your stuff soon, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace out.